Hey guys, welcome to our camper. We have a 2016 Gray Wolf 22RR toy hauler. It's a long name for a tiny trailer. It's just the perfect size for us for now. This is our second camper. Our first one was a 16 foot or 18 foot converted race car um, cargo trailer. And that was fine. It had it had a, you know, a small kitchen in it. It had, it had a wet bath. I never liked that wet bath. And we had, there was enough room to get one motorcycle in it. And then we built a platform where the bed was above it. Kind of like a happy jack system, but ours was very manual. And you couldn't bring the bed down with the bike in it. It was just, it was get to your place, pull the bike out, and then you can set up. We bought this in June of 2018 because we were planning on going to Sturgis that year and knew that it was going to be a three-day trip and we wanted to be able to just drive till we were tired, pull over, climb into bed, go to sleep, and then continue on without any hassles. So this one's perfect. The floor plan, we can have both our bikes loaded up in here and still access the bathroom and the bedroom. So it's perfect for long distance traveling when you know you just want to stop long enough to sleep. We really like all the stuff we've done to it. Of course, we're not done. There's always more to do, more to do. You do one project and that just snowballs into, oh, well, now that this is painted, we should paint this. And oh, well, let's upgrade this. And it goes on and on and on. So we're not done. But we're pleased with where we are now. We're getting ready to pack it up and do some camping in a week and a half. So I wanted to just give you a quick tour and show you what we've done so far. So this is the kitchen, obviously. We changed the panels on the fridge. This was just black and it had this textured pattern on it. We were able to just slide the panels out, flip them over, and the backside was smooth. So we just put this stainless steel peel and stick paper on there. This was such a quick and easy and inexpensive upgrade and it just brightened up the space so much even before we painted everything. It really helped reflect the light in here because this thing was so dark. Um, this one has a pantry and this is one of the other things that sold us on this because for such a tiny camper this thing has a ton of space inside. We've got all our pots and pans, our dishes, our silverware, koozies, we keep a lot of food in here when we travel, we've got the griddle and everything, and then this uh, shoe organizer that I hung on the back carries Dixon's poop bags, his leashes, we keep the food in here, we've got extra command hooks and rope and extra fuses, extra plumbing parts, just all sorts of things we might need when we're on the road, and it just, uh, just so much stuff just on the back of this door. This is awesome. And then moving back into the living room. Um, we First thing we did here was I recovered the couch because it was just a dark brown and that pleather vinyl kind of fabric and you just stuck to it when you sat down and I just, I hate that kind of fabric. So I just covered it with this. We built these, um, we took down the old balances, those fabric covered icky balances in the little pull down shade thing and we built these and then I just got curtains at found these at Walmart pretty cheap and I just cut them down hemmed them up and installed them and they look we love it we think that looks great and John had installed this shelf up here on top and he put this little um, piece of trim on here and that is enough it sticks up maybe a half an inch or so and it is more than enough to keep these baskets from falling out they have never come out when we're going down the road and these are perfect these we got really lucky with these I found them on Amazon I find everything on Amazon and they just worked out great and they're they're pretty for storage so <laughs> I wanted to make the camper pretty because you know we do spend a lot of time in it when we're out on the road next upgrade moving around is this is just a curtain that we had and a curtain rod that I already had and I just hung it here to hide the ramp door when we're parked because it's just a big ugly black door and it's always got muddy footprints on it so when we're camping we don't have the the deck system on this one so this door is always closed when we're camping so we just hung that there just so it's 
more comfortable in here. And then on this side, we did a bunch of stuff. Let me flip the camera around so I can show you this side. Okay, so on this side of the living room, kitchen, multi-purpose room, it originally came with, you know, an opposing sofa that folds up. Um, the previous owners had already pulled that out and they gave it to us when we bought it, but we never installed it because we just don't need a second sofa. It's just the two of us and the dog. So at first we just put a little, we had a little four foot fold up table that we would use here to extend our countertop because these things have no countertop. Then we found these really cool hinges that will support a 16 inch shelf and fold down completely against the wall. So we've got a 16 by, I think it's five and a half feet long counter space, which extends our kitchen counter space. And then we also use this for, we'll set um, a TV up here. If we want to watch TV at night, we'll kick back on the sofa, put our feet up on these little ottomans. And I can also put my laptop here, pull out one of the ottomans and be able to get some work done here while we're out on the road. So hands down, this is the most useful upgrade we have done to this camper. Five and a half feet of counter space is phenomenal in something this small. Up here, um, this was already here when we got it. It had a one of those cargo net bungee style things that came up to about here, which worked good keeping stuff in and out. Sometimes it was a pain getting stuff in and out with the netting there. But it was all stretched out and dry rotted, so we just cut that out and I put in this um, grippy shelf liner stuff. And this stuff is pretty darn good. Nothing has slid around in here at all when we're moving. And just for an extra precaution, I do have a long tension rod that I'll put up when we um, go out just for extra. But I don't even think I need it, but we do that just in case we have... We store up here our helmets, the coffee pot, some other stuff. So this is a very useful shelf. I'm glad we already had it. We didn't have to install it. And then just recently, John put in this really pretty backsplash. We had this left over from our last camper. We had done, uh, we had planned on doing the whole kitchen area and only did just the one wall. And we had a ton of this left over. So we had enough to do this here behind the stove. We did another section behind the sink and we did the entire wall behind the sink in our bathroom. So it was so nice to have enough of this stuff to do what we needed and not have to buy anything new. I love when I can use stuff I've already got on hand. Okay, last year we had to replace the kitchen faucet. The one that came with it was a pretty high rise faucet with the pull out spray. That thing was made out of plastic and it just wasn't built to last. So this one's a Pfizer. It is the only one they had at Lowe's that had the correct plumbing already on it for the camper plumbing. That's one thing I didn't even think about. I originally ordered a really pretty faucet from uh, Amazon and I didn't think about the different plumbing that you have versus from a house to a camper. So I, my original search was RV kitchen faucet and I ordered one. I loved it. I went to install it and I'm like, oh son of a gun, this won't work and I needed to get all these different adapters. So I ran up to Lowe's, found this one, and was very careful to look at all the packaging to see how it installs. So if you're replacing your kitchen faucet, make sure it's going to be compatible with the plumbing that's in a camper, or you've got a lot of modifications to do, and you'll you're just back to Lowe's. So, but this one's really pretty. It's a um, nice metal faucet. This thing will probably outlast the camper itself. This is a cool little thing I made. We do go to a lot of bike rallies and we collect pins. So I made a leather banner for us to just display all our pins on. It's just a goofy little thing. We love it. This is our bathroom. It's going to be kind of hard to film because it is quite tiny. But you can see on this side we wrapped these walls here with this uh, wallpaper. Just to brighten it up because, of course, this was tan. Painted the walls and the doors white. And then on this side, as you can see, we've got more of that really cool stainless steel backsplash. Painted everything here. Have not replaced the faucet or sink yet. 
I'd like to replace the faucet with another stainless steel one that would just look nicer, but this one still works, so we haven't gotten to it yet. But it's on that list. We did have to replace the mixer valve in the shower. And so while we were at it, we decided to upgrade our shower head. And we got this one. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now. Now this one, it promised to give a lot better water pressure, and it does. But the angle of it, it's weird. I don't really like its angle. I'm going to try moving it to a different spot. We just used the same holder from the last shower head. So I'm going to try moving this one to a different spot and see if it feels better. If not, we may replace that one again. So going into the bedroom, I'll show you what we've done in there. Hello, Dixon. <laughs> All right. So in here, again, we painted everything. First thing we did in this room was we removed the camper mattress. It was horrible. We never even slept on it. It was, most camper mattresses are not very comfortable. And this is, you know, it's a lower end camper. And so this one really sucked. And we had two guest rooms in our house with queen mattresses. And so I brought out the better mattress one day and got the bed all made. And John's like, well, why did you bring the good one? We should have brought the other one for the camper. I'm like, well, I want to sleep on the good one. And I am a firm believer in use the good stuff every day. Don't wait for a special occasion. And then behind the uh, the bed there, we, got, we found this really cool shiplap looking wallpaper. And John did a phenomenal job of putting that up because that was kind of a pain because nothing is straight and going around the light, but he did an awesome job on that. That just looks so good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little camper tour. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And leave us a comment. We'd love to know what you think of what we've done so far and what you might be doing to yours. So we are getting ready to go camping. We've got a trip set up for a week and a half from now. And we will do a quick video on how we fold everything down, load and secure our bikes, and get ready to head out and go camping. Thanks again, and always remember, watch for bikes on the road. Oh, look, Daddy's like... going to be on the back. <laughs>